Some of you have asked me in the comments how I color grade these videos, what you see here in DaVinci Resolve 18. So today I'm going to show you and you can do everything I'm going to show you in the free version of DaVinci Resolve because I mean, who doesn't like free stuff, right? Okay, now before we get into the actual color grading, there's something you need to understand because usually the question I get is, how do you color grade your talking head videos in DaVinci Resolve or something like that? But sometimes the question is, how do you color grade your videos? Because I want to get exactly the same look. Now, I don't mind, that's fine. But the problem is that the color grading is just a small part of the look that's going on here. So I'm gonna show you how I color grade my videos. But if you want to get a similar or the same look, you're gonna have to do more than just color grading. Three things actually. First of all, that background wall there is painted gray and it's part of the look. On top of that, it's also lit by a blue light. So if I turn off that blue light, it looks completely different. I'll give you a moment to take it in. Okay. And then what I also have over there is a rim light lighting my shoulder and this side of my face. If I turn that off, then it also looks completely different. I mean, a little bit less completely different than the blue lights, but still. A moment to take it in. Okay. And then the third thing that also makes a difference is that I'm using a mist filter. So if I take away the mist filter, mist filter, then it also looks different. So, you know, I just don't want you to be disappointed when you try to color grade your footage the way I'm gonna show you, only to find out that it doesn't look like my videos or it doesn't look like the way you expected it to look. You know what I mean? I'm gonna put on the filter again. Okay, and then one more thing. I did the color grade for my studio videos here almost a year ago and I don't remember exactly how I did it, you know, the details. But that's also not important. It shouldn't be important. I'm gonna show you my workflow and we're gonna get really close to this look, I promise. But depending on what your footage looks like and your lighting setup, your background color, you're gonna have to tweak and adjust it to make it work. I mean, you can do whatever you want, of course. Whatever makes you happy makes me happy. Well, no, maybe not everything because I don't know what goes on in the head of yours, but Anyway, I'll link the video on my lighting setup in the description in case you want to check it out. And now we're ready to start color grading. Fire up Resolve. And let's start in the color page right away by creating four nodes. A CST node, a skin node, a grade node and a correction node. And we're going to start with the color space transform. So the color space transform will bring our log footage into the Rec. 709 color space. It'll add contrast and saturation. Basically, it'll make your log footage look normal. And if you're not using log footage, if your footage already has contrast and saturation because you're using a standard profile instead of a log profile, then just skip this step. Anyway, so here in the effects, look for the color space transform drop it onto the nodes and then select the correct input gamma and color space. In my case, it's slog3 and the color space is sgamma3.cine. The output, I'm gonna leave it at use timeline because here in my project settings, I have my output already set to rec709, which is the standard what you also should be using, usually. Okay, then next, color correction. Select the node and let's do some simple adjustments. It looks too warm, so let's adjust the temperature and the tint. Maybe also a bit more contrast here. And like I said guys, don't blindly follow what I do here. Play around with all these settings and tools so that you learn what they actually do and then eventually you can create your own look. And then using the curves, I'm going to brighten up the image a little bit. The midtones and the highlights, just a tiny bit. I can always come back again to adjust it if I'd want to. Okay, and then next are great. And look, I want to keep it simple, but I like teal and orange, so this look is a very mild version of teal and orange. My background is already blue, so that will already give the impression that it's kind of teal and orange. So first of all, here in the log wheels, I'm going to add some teal blue everywhere. Shadows, midtones, and highlights. Not too much. And the secret here is to use the low and high range settings here. 
There you can adjust how much your adjustment affects the highlights or the shadows. See? So play around with it and let's see something like this. Looks good. And then using the color wheels, make sure to switch here to the color wheels. A tiny bit of teal blue again in the shadows. That's the lift wheel. And a bit more orange in the midtones. That's the gamma wheel. And I'll also lower the gain a little bit to mute the highlights. And the difference between the log wheels and the color wheels is that, simply put, the color wheels affect a wider range than the log wheels. The log wheels are more targeted. There's plenty of videos that explain how it works exactly. Just look around on YouTube. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna do in this node, you see the background color, that blue? I want it to look slightly more tealish, but not too much. So I'm gonna go to the Curves tab and then here select Hue versus Hue. This is where you can change the hue of a color. Create two anchor points, covering the color you want to change, in my case blue, and then pull it up or down like this, see? And you can do the same with the saturation or luminance of a color. Super useful tool. Then next is the skin node, the skin tone node. I naturally have this stupid baby pink skin. I also have dry skin sometimes and red spots, especially in winter. Super annoying, so let's make it look a bit better. First select the skin with the qualifier tool here, use the one with the plus symbol and then just click until all the skin is selected. You can use shortcut shift H to see your selection by the way and just hit shift H again to go back. And you can fine tune your selection here with these sliders. And then of course denoise it to soften the edges. There. And now it's basically the same as what we did in the grade node. Adjust the colors. So using the log wheels, I'm gonna push some warm orange into the skin. And for the highlights, a tiny bit of teal. I don't know, I kinda like it. But it's gonna be almost invisible, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, I'm gonna lower the gamma here just a tiny little bit. And then here in the vector scope, I'm gonna use the skin tone line to adjust the skin tones. So see, these here are the skin tones and they should be on or close to that line. And what I'm also gonna do here in the curves tab and then hue versus hue, I'm gonna get rid of some of the redness. So I'll create some anchor points and then just play around with red and orange and yellow. Just to make the skin tones a bit tighter on the skin tone line here. Of course, if you have beautiful skin, you probably don't have to do anything at all. Now for this color grade, this works just fine. But what if you want to do a crazier grade? Well, everything we did here in these first nodes also affected the skin. But because it wasn't too crazy, it doesn't really matter. But what if you want to go crazy with your grade? Well, what you can do is create a layer node. So select the skin node here, hit Option or Alt plus L, and it'll create a new layer node. And then just make sure that it's connected correctly here. Not like this, but like this. And now you can do all your crazy color grading in this node and it won't affect the skin tones. Now, of course, don't overdo it because then it'll look weird. And that's basically it. So the most important thing you have to remember from this video is that the color grading is just a small part of the look. If you want to get the same look as a creator or a movie, you're gonna have to do a lot more than just color grading. Same lighting, same filters, same camera also. If you wanna get exactly the same look, so yeah, now you know. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.